Welcome back and in this video we will go to recipe archive. Let's explore these options. The first option is to enable or disable the archive header. So if we go to our site and from the breadcrumb over here I'm going to go into our recipes page. Click on recipe and this is our recipe archive page. And as you can see, the recipe archive header is now displaying here. Let's go back and we will disable this option. Click on save changes. Come back and we will give it a refresh. And that is gone. Actually, we don't really have a need for that header because the recipe index header title is already given here. Let's go back. Next is the default archive layout. Currently, the chosen archive layout is grid view, which is this layout over here. If you go back and change it to list view, click on save changes, go back and give it a refresh. It will display in a list layout. Let's go back. I will just change it back to grid view. Next, you can also change the recipe archive title from recipe index to anything else that you wish to. Just remove it and you can add in the title of your choice. Click on save changes, go back and give it a refresh. And you can see the change has been made in the header title. Let's go back. You can also change the archive description. Since the archive description is not here, let's add in some description. Over here, you can just type out the description of your choice. So let's add in. This is the recipe archive index page. And we will click on save changes. Go back. Give it a refresh. And you can see the description has appeared here. You can add longer description if you wish to. I'm going to change the recipe archive title to recipe index and I'm also going to remove the archive description because I don't have a need for it. But if you want to add in, you can go ahead and add in. The choice or preference is yours. The last option is a recipe taxonomy subtitle. So this is the default label that is shown on your taxonomy archive pages of courses, cuisines and cooking methods and also on recipe keys and so on. So if you are wondering, let's go to our site. If you go over to cuisines, you will see this is the default label, narrow your search. You can change that from here. So just remove the title that is here. Then you can add in the title of your choice. Let's add in a random subtitle. Click on save changes. Go back to our site, give it a refresh. And as you can see, the changes have been made. This change will also reflect in your rest of the taxonomy archive pages. Let's go back and I will change it back to how it was before. Click on save changes. If you go back and give it a refresh, the changes have been made. So this is it about archive page. In the next video, we will go to appearance.